95 degrees. It's so sticky and humid. That was the best one day mark I had had like ever. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I want to burn all the Yes. It's the day before the show. It's gonna be so hot. It's been in the 90s and so I don't really know what I want to do. So Randy doesn't even get home until uh, like, hmm, let me get down here, till seven-ish tonight. And so I can't even pack his truck until then. And so I have a little, I have like half an hour to decide, am I taking, my mom has a bunch of my sweatshirts in her car. And so I don't know if I want to bring any others. Do I? No, I don't really want to. Not really. Um, because it's so hot, but I'm so excited because tomorrow's going to be with college students there. Um, their move-in weekend, I think, is this weekend, if not last weekend, and so, like, they're going to be excited, so I don't want to not bring stuff. I'm in that thing where I'm like, I don't want to bring everything, but then I still bring everything, but I need to bring the stuff that has hangers on it because those are the ones that like I put out like I don't need to bring the extras but I don't know if I have the extras my mom have the extras like are they already gonna be there I'm tired I just want to sleep I just want to sleep I had a little boy today ask me if my um, eyes had mold on them because I have like a, some of that glow screen glow sunscreen from um goop i think super goop yeah and i was like buddy maybe <laughs> they might it might be mold who knows <laughs> so he thought my eyes looked like mold and like this thank you i guess <laughs> um yeah so we have the market tomorrow and then we have a market sunday and monday which like I hate to say this, but, like, I don't want to go. Um, I also haven't received any information on it. And so, like, I don't know. Did I tell you guys? Like, I was wondering if it was a scam. I'm still semi-wondering if it's a scam because, like, I signed up for it back in December. I don't think it's a scam. Um, but I've literally gotten, like, maybe once a month a new message that looks very scammy from them saying... Apologies for the inconvenience. Your booth assignment is E7 instead of L11. And then it says, let me know if you need anything else. As if I had, like, texted them. Like, they were waiting for me to reply. They sent me that eight different times. And every time was, like, different numbers. I'm like, what is happening? Like, are they trying to... Like, what is happening? So, yeah. I think I have a show on Sunday and Monday. I paid for a show on Sunday and Monday. It was $100. Maybe a little more than that. So, I'll keep you in the loop with that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I just wanted to come on here, close it out, and your next vlog is going to be Ribber Friday. Street Eats is the theme. So, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Brittany again. Oh, let me turn this air off. Oh, 95 degrees. 
so sticky and humid. I'm disgusting. We're back here again. Um, yeah, it was amazing. A really, 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 really good market. I haven't fully ran the numbers, but if I had to guess, this is my best one day market ever. Like my best day of markets ever. Does that make sense? Like even on a three day, like any specific one day, this is the best, how many times can I say this is the best day ever market wise. All right, I'm gonna go inside and shower, go bye. Hey, how are you? If you didn't catch that, we just picked up an order. We technically, well we, I picked up two orders, but um, this one is going to someone that lives somewhere undisclosed on an Air Force base out of the United States. Um, all I know it's going to the Pacific somewhere. Uh, so I've never shipped to someone like that before. And I, don't know if I did it correctly because Etsy wouldn't let me do their whole, like in their system, you can create a shipping label through Etsy and it was refusing to let me. It did that the other day, but then it ended up doing it. But I think because this is a very different um, address and I had to do a customs form, it did not let me. And so I went ahead and just did it through USPS, just used all the info they gave me. Um, it actually was a little bit cheaper going through USPS than going through Etsy's USPS portal. So I guess that's good. But because I went through USPS, I don't know if it's because, but like it had, it had a, I can't show you the package that gives the address away, but the customs form is printed on the shipping label. Um, but there was another sheet with it that said something like this mailer has to, this sheet has to match the customs form. And I'm like, do I need to put that on the back of this? Can I put it on the inside? Like it was a very uh, generic looking prompt. I don't know. Like it literally had my name and address and then it basically a line that said I ordered a ground advantage label. Like there was nothing official with that, you know? So like, I don't know if it's something where I needed to go into the post office to like personally hand it to them. But the thing is, it's a weekend and it's a holiday weekend because Labor Day is, I always get Labor Memorial Day confused. Labor Day is Monday. Ship date on this is today though. And so like, I have to give it to them today. The post office is no longer open. They, I think closed at noon. It is like 3.45, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna drop it off in the blue box and just pray it gets out to her. Um, I wanted to add, I so bad wanted to add in something extra, but I wasn't thinking when I filled out the customs form I had to declare everything that was in the box. And so even though I want now at this point to add a pair of like freebie earrings to her, um, I can't because I didn't declare it. And so I feel like I feel guilty a little bit. I know I shouldn't, but I do. Like I feel like that would be hard living that far away. I don't know. I just, I feel like I, <laughs> I wanted to add something extra because Maybe they're a military person, maybe they're a spouse of a military person, regardless, they live um, very, very, very far away and they ordered from me and I feel very grateful um, and I wanted to give them a little gift, but I couldn't and so anyways, I forgot. So yesterday we had a market and um, 
I keep forgetting. So like I start doing the traffic cam, like foot traffic cam for you guys. And I forget I'm filming. And so I have like an hour of foot traffic film. So I need to get that off my memory card because it is like full. I'm surprised it's even letting me film right now. Um, so I need to do that before we have another market, um, two markets tomorrow and then Monday. So we're gonna have to do some editing and I will see you another day. We sold out of so, every time, literally every time I try to finish and like end this filming segment, I bring on something new. Have you noticed that? You're probably like waiting for me to say bye like twice now. Um, I ran out of so many things yesterday. Uh, I'm not doing any sweatshirts. We sold a lot of sweatshirts though, thankfully. Um, but I am needing desperately needing bookmarks i ran out of all my sophie cherry bookmarks i ran out of all my um coquette bookmarks i'm not making new ones of those um i ran out of um a lot of my kitty bookmark like designs are gone and then i ran out of there was another one and i'm running low on everything um normally i have like 210 bookmarks that bring with me which is excessive and we are down like a hundred bookmarks that so like we're down to like almost a hundred now, a little over a hundred with what I have. Um, so it's looking sparse on my stand. 200 looks good. 100 looks like um, nothing to me. Anyways, um, I'm gonna run to the post office and I need to go get Swiffer juice. And then we need to make bookmarks. So see you later. Hey. <laughs> Thank goodness, thank goodness. I put things in my notes and never delete them um, because I'm sitting here on no, no, not November. I was just, I was just looking at a calendar at a November date. Um, October, maybe 25th. Honestly, I don't know what day it is. I guess my phone's right here. 26th, a little off. Um, is it Saturday? Yes, yeah, Saturday. I worked yesterday. Okay. Anywho, it's October 26th and I'm sitting here doing an August 30th wrap up video for you. So, um, let's just say I lost some footage somewhere. I deleted it. It's not there. I looked everywhere. I looked everywhere, looked everywhere. Can't find it. Not on my camera, not on my computer. So I definitely deleted it. It's okay though. Because I had made notes and um, I'm just going to do them now. So, anywho, to the best of my knowledge, I'm going to stop taking breaks now. It was an extremely good market. I had a lot of fun. It was a night market, four hours long, super chill, um, but busy. Oh, so busy. So, it was college weekend, first weekend back. I knew it was going to be like a just a killer market and I was right because that was the best one day market I had had like ever so let me go into stats for you red as my battery is dying awesome start awesome awesome start um anywho in Venmo we did $87 in Square we did $739 and in cash we did $76 by far the lowest cash that's because college students didn't have cash on them um for a total of 41 transactions ish I think my mom counted them um all so I'm pretty sure that's positive it's a 41 for a grand total of $902 which is almost a hundred dollars more than I'd ever made in a one day. And like, that's like an eight hour one day I was comparing it to. My best show was my very first show I had ever done up to that point. Um, and then it was like a letdown from there on until this show. And so it was, it was needed. Oxford is amazing. I will say that over and over. I had so much fun. Um, and I will continue doing Oxford shows. There were no ups or it's not this true. There were no ups. Um, there were no downs. There was no negatives. I didn't have like a nasty experience. I didn't have um, poop on the floor in Chipotle. It was all good. No complaints. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I don't want to complain on here. The trash next to us was smelly. That's why I wouldn't complain. But if that's the worst. That's a good market. 
I was set up next to the Chunky Chickadee again, which we are friends and we are both Chunkies. Um, so it's like funny when we're right next to each other. <laughs> Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Sorry we're in October now, but I still had the stats, so I guess it works out. And um, subscribe if you're not already. I do videos like this all the time, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!